Liverpool versus everybody. Um, just a disappointing match. I don't know why Liverpool are so sloppy. Um, I, um, I don't, yeah, I, they should have. It should have really been two, two nil. Um, we we really got lucky. I don't understand why Liverpool are acting like this. Yeah, I mean, look, I, one of you in particular was saying I, w I was sounding negative. I was sounding sour or whatever the last video i wonder what you're thinking now um as i said the sheffield united game doesn't paper over any cracks um and this is not a shock result it really isn't um it's just frustrating at this point it doesn't really matter who we get back it just doesn't this team is absolute trash it's, that's just that is what it is and you can you know thumbs down this video you can leave comments you know i don't give a damn i'm at a point now where i'm just gonna be totally raw totally honest about this team and this team is absolute garbage right now right now today this Chelsea team they're not a good team they're not a good team they're, they're really not and let's be honest the only really good team in the league is City that's the only team I, I told you about Leicester I told you about Leicester they, they they're just not they're not to be trusted especially with that manager United is United um and it's between us and Chelsea and we can't even beat damn Chelsea you know, I mean, as much as I love Mane, how are you missing that chance in the first half, bro? I mean, what what is that? You know, at least get a shot on target. You know, you can't make every goal, but I mean, that's just, I know things happen, but again, those situations really just show where this team is this year, and it better be a run in the Champions League. We're not getting top four. That's just what it is. You can call me negative. You can call me whatever you want to call me. I don't give a damn at this point. We're not getting top four. If we get top four, it's because the other teams were just that bad, and we just happened to get a couple points to get it. But it, it, it's it's a long shot at this point. This is a must-win game today. Um, and you know the people who said it was a not necessarily a must-win, but a must-not lose. Well, look, you can't just keep saying, "Oh, we can get a draw, or drop points here, and then full them." No, it's not just then the next game. It's the game we're playing now, and. You know, again, I, I just don't get how we can't put enough together to beat Chelsea. And also, again, I said it before, Milner, what is he? Why, where's Naby? Where's Origi? When you're losing 1-0, what? Seriously, Klopp, this is for Klopp. Bringing on Milner, what does that do for you? We're not up 1-0. If we're up 1-0, that makes sense. You're trying to solidify the defense. Why are you bringing Milner on? Why? Really? I don't get it. Ox comes on. I... Where's Nabi Keita? Where is he? Where's a guy who? Where, where's? Oh, I, I just, bro. I, I, it's um, it's the same old stuff. It's the same old stuff. And this is what I'm saying, man. It's not. It has nothing to do with being negative or not a supportive fan. It's, it's it has to do with being real and then keeping in reality. This team just isn't performing well. And there'll be people who make up excuses about not having defenders and all that. That that has nothing to do with anything, man. At the end of the day, you know, you, you have to do what you, the team that you have, you got to just make it work. That's what a team does. And to be losing these games here, I mean, we can't buy a win at home. This is at home. A, 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 a place where we went, I don't know how many games un, undefeated. You know, all of a sudden now we can't even win a game. I don't, what, I don't, this is going to be a short video, man. I don't have much to say. I, this is just yeah, ridiculous. Just, but go ahead. It's just disappointing. It, it yeah, you're right. There's nothing really you can say. It's just dis disappointment. Um, we shouldn't be we shouldn't be losing like this. We should. I I don't know what's going on with Liverpool. We just lost something. I, I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's hard to pinpoint what the issue is because there's enough players on that. There's enough players on that pitch to get a result. And I'm, I'm just not buying the COVID, the defensive issues, no Van Dijk. I'm not buying that, man. You get Fabinho back, you decide to put him in defense, okay, cool. Um, You know, like I said, I mean, it, it just, we lost to Mason Mount today. Mason Mount, that's what we lost to today. So I, that, that puts everything in perspective. I, look, I mean, I don't, I don't see us getting top four. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. Come talk to me at the end of the season and tell me I was wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm open for the comments. I'm open for the trolling, whatever. We're not getting top four. So it better be a run in the Champions League, which is hard to imagine as well. But 
Strangely, I feel like the Champions League at this point makes a little bit more sense than the, than the Prem. At least in the Champions League, you know, we're getting wins. We're, we're getting goals. Um, you know, we, in the first that we beat a really good German side um, in Leipzig. And we get them on the on the on the back end and see if we can just finish that off. But I mean, that's the only way. I mean, we're out of we're out of every other competition, as we all know. So you know, it's just a, it's a joke, man. This, this whole season has been a joke, and I'm not saying that every video, but you know, I, I just I mean, just watching this game, it, it's just at this point, it's just stressful and depressing. It's just it, it, to watching Liverpool, it's just it's an absolute joke. It's an absolute joke, and. We just can't stream anything together. And, and again, that's why you know people talk about getting Mbappe in the summer and all these other players in the summer. Why are we even talking about that? Let's get a couple wins in this season. Let's get a couple wins in this actual season, fall, spring, winter, whatever you want to call it. Let's get some wins first before we talk about a summer situation where we're getting some of the best football players we've ever seen in the world. They're not coming to Liverpool. At this point, the best we can do is Europa. And honestly, I don't even know if we can get that. That's how bad we've been. I don't even know if we can get Europa League spots. You know, and I, again, I'm curious to see what Klopp's going to say, say after this game. You know, because to me, this is one of the games, for me personally, where I felt like it was glaringly obvious that Klopp has really lost it, man. In, in terms of formation, substitutions, um... When your team isn't mentally there, that's managerial. Let's just be, let's just, let's just be real tonight. When you, when your team isn't there mentally and they just look all over the place and can't really create something, that's managerial. That's managerial. That's the club. That's 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 the coach. That's the manager. Even so, then, even during halftime, you were talking. Yeah, you. I mean, this is obviously obvious. Like, he was gonna put in subs at like eight, at the 80th minute, and the sub did, and the subs weren't even good. Did they come on the 80th minute? Yeah, it was like 70 minutes. 70 minutes. Yeah, I mean, listen, I with Milner. With if with Milner. Exactly. I, I just nothing against Milner, but something against Milner. If you get the point, I'm not. I, look, I, 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 I I've said this before here, and I want to sound like a broken record. He's been a good servant to this club, but bruh. To bring him on to help win a game, just for me. And I know all of you other Milner lovers will make up at something and say I'm hating. Bring it on. I don't give a damn. Y'all are just blind to what it is. Milner doesn't help you win a game. I'm sorry. When, when you're losing a game, you bring Milner on. There's nobody can, that can tell me he's on because he can help. No. It's just it just it's just not that's just not the case. Let's just be uh, let's just be a hundred right now. Milner's not gonna come on, huh? Oh, Ricky's the guy you want to pull, pull off. And I know Ricky hasn't been great, but at least at this point, you just go for broke. But Milner? Where's Nabby at? Where's Nabby? He doesn't get the start, and then he doesn't even come on the on, on the pitch? You bring it on Ox? Bruh, like, see, this is... And Ox did nothing in the game. Nothing at all. It, it's just, at this point, man, notice. this team is broken. It's absolutely broken. And, again, we're talking about guys we're bringing in. We need to be concerned about guys we're losing in the summer. Because there's going to be some guys that want to beat the hell out of there for more than one reason. You know, and, and Genie is at the top of that list. I think Genie, and Genie didn't do shit today either. And he hasn't really been doing shit in general. To me, in my point, I'm just going to be in straight up. And people who are crying out for Genie to stay, listen, there's a plethora of players out there you can get that will soften the blow of, of, of losing Genie. Let's be real. If he was a guy who was put, allegedly, he at, at times he had pushed to stay. But again, that's just rumor. I don't know. Um, allegedly, also, also he has a gentleman's agreement with Inter Milan over in Syria, playing in Italy. So, whatever the case, I'm at this point. It is what it is. I mean, if he's trying to leave, cool. If we're trying to keep him, cool. At this point, at, that, all these other things are just distractions for us to get excited about players that are going to come, players that are going to stay, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about seeing this team win a damn game consistently. Okay. I don't give a damn about guys we can possibly get in the summer and all this. It's about Liverpool winning fucking games right now. Excuse my language. Okay. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous at this point. Chelsea one nil? Really? Really? Go ahead, man. I, I, I don't remember the last time we won two games in a row. Because it's been a long damn time. That's why. Exactly. It's been a long damn time. If you can't win two games in a row, I just... 
but we definitely can draw a bunch of games in a row and lose a bunch of games in a row and it just be okay or draw or lose a bunch of games in a row then win a game against Sheffield United who you should be and then you and then, get excited and, but then we go and for some reason you get excited but then we just fall this back. is the thing and you know people get on Liverpool fans who have YouTube channels and that speak the truth and say quite frankly if you want to get excited if you were one of those people that were just getting excited and throwing your clothes all over the place and throwing money in the air or whatever when Liverpool beat Sheffield United cool that's on you not me man that's one win, which you should win. And then you play against a team like Chelsea, and you just absolutely shit the bed. I would be excited if we won five games in a row. Probably won't happen. Just the way it's well, looking. look at this point, man. Look, I'm, I'm I'm tired of like even trying to be nice about things. Like I said before, Liverpool are not getting top four. You heard it here first, um, and that's just what it is. Y'all can fake in front and front and act like you got some sort of confidence that they will. Liverpool ain't getting top four. I know it. My man knows it. You know it. Your dogs know it. Your grandmother, your mother, your your grandparents. Everybody, everyone knows it. But, but except you, you don't want to. You don't want to admit that Liverpool aren't going anywhere this season. And like I said, if we go anywhere, it's because we're going to win the Champions League. Other than that, it's it's rebuilding at this point. It's rebuilding. And you know the injuries to the side. I get it. People might say, well, hold on. If we had all our players this season, it might be different. Maybe, maybe, most likely, but yes. We don't. But we don't. Most likely, yes, but we don't. Um, and then again, even next season, we have those guys fit. A lot of those dudes aren't going to like the fact that we're not playing in Champions League. They're not going to like the fact that we're playing. We're not playing in Europe. You know. And so, yeah, we might put in a run in, in, in the Premier League and, and maybe get that, hopefully. But th that's a long shot, man. These other teams get chances in the summertime to rebuild. Um, a lot of these other teams have more money than us to rebuild and, and, and strengthen their team. Nah, bro. So this is me, man. This is my man, Onyx. Liverpool, everybody. This is our post-match reaction. Um, realer than real. Honest. Um, just straight to the point. You know, leave your comments if you want. I don't give a damn if you leave nothing. I don't care. But y'all you know, know me. I, I don't got to repeat that. I don't give a damn about likes, subscriptions, or whatever. We do this because we want to do it. We, we love talking about the team. Even in times like this where part of me thinking, I'm not, I don't even want to come on. But that's I'm, if I come on, we crush teams and beat teams in our glory. I come on when we lose. We've been here before. We made this channel way before Liverpool have had this glory. So, we're always going to be here. And we're here again. Liverpool nil. Chelsea won at home. Mason Mount. <laughs> we lost to Eminem. <laughs>